Hey, my name is Christy. I'm on the Life Group team and I also work in RP Singles. And so we just looked at the topic of church repentance. We looked at some passages in 1 Peter, um, talking about how repentance starts with us in the house of the Lord. And we also talked about the church at Laodicea and Jesus' warning and invitation to the church in that passage. And you know, when it comes to church repentance, a lot of times I can feel like, you know, I'm just one person. Like, how can I influence an entire body of people. Like I can control my own repentance, but when it comes to a large group of people, um, it can feel a little bit overwhelming. And so what I wanna do today is just share with you kind of what God has been teaching me personally about church repentance. And I guess it started for me like a couple of years ago. And I was sitting in a church service uh, during worship time and I felt the Lord just stirring my heart to pray for the church, to intercede for the church. And so as I lifted my hands in worship, this picture came into my mind of this covering, stretching from the front of the auditorium where the band was, all the way to the back where the kids were. And it was such a powerful image that it, it marked me forever. Like it changed the way I prayed for the church. And there's like not a weekend that goes by that that picture doesn't come to my mind. And I think it's a picture of what happens when we pray and we intercede for our brothers and sisters in the room. And so my question for you is, how do you think that that would change encounter if we came together, not just to worship God, which is amazing, and that is our utmost calling, to worship God personally, to pour our heart out to Him, to, um, to just lift his name high, but we took it to another level where we went to battle for our brothers and sisters in the room, for the person who is having a hard time believing, for the person who is struggling with sin, for the person who needs repentance, that we could stand in the gap for them. And so, you know, if you're not sure what to pray, praying scripture is always a really great idea. Um, a great verse that we can pray this weekend at Encounter is Philippians 2, uh, verse 12 and 13, and it says this. Therefore, my dear friends, as you have always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your, your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and to act in order to fulfill his good purpose. And so we pray on behalf of others that we would work out our salvation with fear and trembling. We pray for others that God would place his desires in us. We pray for others that the Holy Spirit would empower us to live the life that God is calling us to live according to his good purposes. And so let's get ready for encounter. Let's come ready to pray. Let's come ready to stand in the gap for, and pray for repentance for our church here at Rocky Peak, our church here in America, our church across the world. And let's pray that we would be the strong, beautiful, faithful bride that Jesus is coming back for. Amen? Amen.